What's up guys, Steven here and greetings from the Huawei service store here in Vienna. So today I have the unique opportunity to have a closer look inside of the brand new Huawei Mate 20 Pro and also ask a few questions, how it works when you have some problems with your smartphones and how to get it repaired within two hours. So let's go. Huawei's Mate series is considered as one of the industry leading devices when it comes to display utilization. An almost bezel-less and front-filling display is one of the most important unique selling points for any expensive top model of smartphone manufacturers. Now currently some users are disappointed because a processing error has clouded the overall appearance of the Mate 20 Pro with stains. But how big is the issue right now? In fact, I've seen a few devices with the glue gate issue in reality and only a very small percentage was really bad, which I would classify as defective. I then did some research on XDA and there are some experienced people said that the green hue, which 99% of the people report on LG displays, is in completely unnatural conditions that would never occur in real life use. They use a grey background, turn the brightness down to 1% and see a little bit of a glow coming out of the curved part of the OLED display. Now I have personally seen some of the units which have a very slight trace of this hue which was barely noticeable and you really had to put it in these conditions to actually see it. However, yes there are some devices with a really strong green glow that even occurs at high brightness levels and this is something that should not happen on such an expensive device. Now on XDA they say that the BOE display is not as bright and smooth as the LG display which is also likely the reason that there is less light bleed coming out of the curved edges when people use the same unnatural conditions. The BOE screen is natively less bright and powerful at every light level. But once again, this only refers to the devices with a very slight green hue. Even though the number of cases is still manageable and most models are flawless, including my personal device, it's still a small PR disaster for Huawei. Of course, the issue is covered by warranty and customers can get their device repaired. So I've visited the Huawei service store in Vienna to have a closer look behind the scenes and the repairing process of a Huawei Mate 20 Pro. In the service store I met Mr. Kumar, who is a very skilled and well-trained smartphone repair specialist and he showed me how he fixes a Mate 20 Pro. Before I could enter the room I had to do an ESD check and put on some ESD shoe covers. Now that makes sure that I'm not static charged and will kill a smartphone or some parts when I touch them. Now repairing a Mate 20 Pro is really not an easy task, because as we all know the device is IP68 certified. That means it's glued and sealed to be water and dust proof. Now in order to remove the back cover, Mr. Kuma puts the phone into an oven and heats it up for a few minutes to weaken the glue. Then he's using a special tool to remove the glass on the back. And after it has been removed, he has to remove a lot of flex cables and connectors, including the motherboard, the battery and some more parts. Now during that you can see the massive battery and the big wireless charging pad. So all that will be transferred into the new display unit that also includes the battery and the frame. So every time Huawei changes a the display, they automatically change the battery as well. So this is a really good service because some third party repair centers often don't do it to save money, but it makes sense to also change the battery. The process takes quite a lot of time and changing the display unit for a Mate 20 Pro can take over one hour, even for a skilled technician like Mr. Kuma. Now before he was putting the device back together, I asked Mr. Gabriel Selig, operator of the service store in Vienna, a few questions. Um, express service. Yes, uh, we have the opportunity here to do express service. Um, the express service is something uh, special here in, at Huawei directly. That means uh, we give the customer the chance to uh, provide the express service uh, during two hours maximum to get the phone back repaired. Online pre-registration uh, is uh, something special for the customer. Uh, that means uh, the customer has the chance to register online over our website or over the Hike app directly uh, to save the time here directly in the shops or if they want uh, if the customer want to send the device uh, to our shop then uh, he can do it also over the online registration repair tool. Uh, the main advantage of pre-registration is uh, to save for the customer the waiting time here directly or if the customer is sending the device uh, to us uh, then uh, we will handle it very fast and very soon and send it very fast back to the customer. 
Yeah, sure. Mate 20 Pro is an important product for us. And uh, also we have all uh, parts here available. Uh, that means uh, we focus on the customer. If any case happen in after sales, then uh, the customer get the device very soon back. During this interview, Mr. Kuma was putting the phone back together. Now the hardest part is actually removing the old glue and then putting the back cover in the perfect position back on the phone. They even have a special tool to apply the tape perfectly on the back cover because this is a very critical step. Now after that is done, Mr. Kuma has to put it manually back on the phone. And then he's putting the phone back into the oven to heat it up and make sure the glue heats up it well and is able to spread and seal perfectly. They also have a special roller tool to apply enough pressure on the edges and make sure that it is sealed and glued perfectly. Now before, during and after the repair, he's also testing the device and the parts of Huawei's own diagnostic system. Basically, they just connect it to the computer and the tool does a full function test and tells them if anything is wrong with the device. Also on many Huawei phones, it's possible to activate a service mode so they don't have to reset the device when they do the repair. So on older phones, they have to factory reset it, but on newer phones, it's possible to bring them into the service mode. All in all, I was pleased that Huawei is taking service seriously and helps customers comparatively fast. Now the two hour quick repair is impressive and if you're interested in a closer look behind the scenes and get some numbers on how many devices they actually repair, then also check out my truth about video on this topic. So big thanks for watching, if you liked this video then please smash the like button and if you want to see more then please subscribe. As always guys, big thanks for watching, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye bye.